So firstly, I am interested in hearing about your recent trip to Laopedia, the current chair of ASEAN. You have met the Lao presidents and also prime minister. Uh, did you have any discussion regarding Burma during your visit? <coughs> the situation in uh, Myanmar has always been on my talking points with uh, leaders uh, around the world. I discussed Myanmar with His Holiness Papa Francisco in Rome. I discussed Myanmar with the French President Macron in Paris. And uh, I discussed uh, Myanmar with the uh, Foreign Secretary uh, <coughs> Uh, David Cameron in uh, London. Obviously, uh, being uh, in Lao, PDA, being the chairman of uh, ASEAN, uh, Myanmar always also in my uh, talking points. Uh, as the number one uh, issue on the international agenda. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I spent a fair bit of time uh, conversing with uh, the special envoy of uh, Lao PDA, of ASEAN, for uh, the question of uh, Myanmar. And of course, I cannot enter into details. The special envoy is highly experienced, a Laotian uh, diplomat, and uh, we will all uh, support his efforts to undertake uh, contacts, uh, consultations with uh, anyone he wish to do so, anyone he think uh, he should listen to. Uh, obviously, primarily uh, the representatives of uh, the National Union government, the ethnic nationalities, ethnic armies, as well as, of course, the Tatmado, that the role of uh, uh, a special envoy, as well as with all ASEAN leaders. Uh, so I was part of this consultation that is making, because I'm very familiar with the situation in Myanmar, obviously. I know about it uh, better than probably both leaders in Asia, in the world, uh, because I don't think that anyone in Asia in the world who spend as much time as I do uh, following the situation in Myanmar. Could you please share us what's the discussion like uh, David Cameron and French uh, Minister, uh, French President Emmanuel Macron? Well, I cannot obviously enter into details mm -hmm. in a public broadcast uh, of my conversation with other head of state or with a special uh, envoy. Mm -hmm. What I can say is that my views on uh, the problem of Myanmar and the, the road forward, the possible uh, avenues, the possible uh, ideas uh, on how to uh, implement the ASEAN five-point uh, consensus that was agreed uh, among ASEAN leaders, including including the leader of Tatmado. Uh, the leader of Tatmado was uh, present and uh, agreed, gave his signature to the five-point agreement. And as you know, uh, having a uh, agreed to the five-point consensus of ASEAN. Uh, he then reneged on it, uh, betrayed the word given to the leaders of ASEAN, and continued uh, the war of uh, aggression against his own people in Myanmar. The situation, instead of improving, deteriorated dramatically since the beginning of the war, 
since the adoption of the five-point consensus uh, uh, declaration by ASEAN uh, leaders. And uh, this much is what I can say. Mm -hmm. And uh, my views are that uh, for a legitimate uh, solution to the problem of Myanmar, mm -hmm. Uh, easy solution would be for the Tatmado to acknowledge its uh, inability to win the war that it launched, to win the war that it started against its own people. So recognize the election result of the the last elections in Myanmar that was won legitimately, fairly by NLD, recognize the election result, mm -hmm. agree to talk with NLD and other uh, representatives of uh, uh, the people of Myanmar, namely the ethnic nationalities that are also fighting the regime, <laughs> and uh, agree on a timetable for restoration of democracy in Myanmar based on the election result yes, of uh, uh, that took place in, uh, in Myanmar. This is what uh, should be the basis and should be the responsibility, an opportunity for Tatmado to help resolve the conflict that it started. So, recognize the election result, free all political prisoners, mm -hmm. including Do An Su Chi, agree on then, yes, a cessation of hostilities, so that negotiations can continue on the formation of a new government based on the election result. Yes, sir. This should be the basis of a solution to the current ongoing civil war in Myanmar. So speaking of ASEAN 5-5 consensus, it's been three years, sir. It's not succeed. Uh, what could be a predicate and efficient resolution for the crisis in Myanmar? Well, failing, failing uh, the implementation of uh, the five-point consensus uh, by ASEAN, failing in the sense, failed by uh, Tatmado to acknowledge it, uh, to uh, engage in honest dialogue, but dialogue about what? Towards what? Uh, one cannot obviously talk for the sake of talking. There has to be a purpose. There has to be a roadmap. The roadmap is uh, towards the implementation of the five-point agreement, and that means return to democracy. How to return to democracy? First, recognize the election result. Mm -hmm. Free all political prisoners, in particular Do An Su Chi. Grave injustice, grave crimes have been perpetrated against her. She did nothing wrong. No criminal offense whatsoever. Yes, sir. She was victim of injustice for many decades in Myanmar for the reason that only the Tatmado know, no mm -hmm. one else know what were the reasons for her to have been in prison first for 20 years, how the rest. She won election twice. Yes, sir. And uh, then put in prison, humiliated. Uh -huh. The Tatmado has to have the courage uh, to acknowledge uh, their grave uh, crime committed against the people of Myanmar, against uh, Do An Suu Kyi. Mr. President, uh, and then with her, mm -hmm. with her, 
with NLD, with ethnic nationality leaders, agree on a roadmap for the restoration of democracy, of peace, reconciliation in Myanmar. So this year, Laos PDA is the chairman of ASEAN. Do you believe the Lao would do any different approaching uh, the issue differently, you know, during its chairmanship? Well, one year mandate for a special envoy is always very short. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, Lao, PDA, is a very neutral country very prudently managed, very peaceful, very stable. Uh, the Laotians are very patient, uh, polite, uh, civic people. They always have had a very quite discreet diplomacy, a lot of experience, and uh, they have uh, no vested interest in regard to Myanmar. Uh, it's a small country. They do not dominate anyone. They do not unduly influence or pressure anyone. So uh, I believe that the conditions are good for uh, the dialogue to be started. Bearing in mind that one year is always very short for such complex situations, so uh, who knows, uh, uh, <clears throat> ASEAN leaders might consider uh, uh, extending their mandate uh, of uh, the special envoy of uh, uh, ASEAN, uh, the ambassador of uh, Lao PDR, yes, uh, until as long as uh, finding a solution to the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, uh, following the current arrangement that every uh, uh, rotation of ASEAN chairmanship uh, implies a new uh, special envoy, uh, maybe it's not very practical. Uh, if there is a very experienced person and the current special envoy is a very experienced person, uh, and Lao being Lao, uh, no uh, ulterior motives, uh, no uh, vested interest, uh, this is a, a, a good uh, chance for uh, 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 uh and everybody else to cooperate with the special envoy of ASEAN to progress toward a solution of the problem. As we all know, the military hunter expert, your senior diplomat from Timor Leste, are there still any diplomatic connection with Timor and the hunter? Well, uh, for us being expelled by the military junta, which is not a legitimate uh, democratic uh, regime, is a military junta. Uh, for us, is uh, like a badge of honor. Is because we are doing something that is right, uh, consistent with our history of fighting for democracy, for human rights, for the rule of law. <laughs> In that. Uh, uh, we meet with everyone. Uh, uh, we are ready to meet with the Tatmado. You know, if the Tatmado requests a direct face-to-face -face meeting with uh, Timorese leaders, they say yes. Why not? We'll meet. For well, obviously, we we'll, uh, we meet with NUG uh, or with any ethnic nationality of, from Myanmar that wish to meet with. Uh, Led leaders, uh, officials of Timor Leste. Uh, so we maintain that uh, position. Uh, we have been involved with many international organizations contributing to peace uh, in the region around the world. We are all, for that. We are always uh, uh, ready, but we will not be silent mm -hmm. uh, when there is a savage brutal war waged on the people of Myanmar, impacting particularly on children and women, civilian population, causing thousands and thousands of deaths, destroying the economy of uh, Myanmar, and causing massive humanitarian uh, problems. 
it would be hypocritical for anyone in ASEAN to talk about Gaza, uh, to talk about Ukraine, and then forget uh, the grave uh, situation going on in uh, Myanmar with the, in the heart of ASEAN region. As you mentioned, you have very close relationship, very good relationship with the government or uh, the NUG government. Is Timor planning to permit the NUG government to establish an office in Timor? Yes, definitely. Why not? We uh, Timor Leste is a free democratic country. Uh, NUG is a legitimate, uh, a peaceful democratic institution. Uh, Uh, so why not if they wish to establish a representative office in Timor-Leste yes, for sir. legitimate purposes? Um, so uh, why not? And we are prepared to accept some people from Myanmar, whether they are economists, bankers, uh, academics, uh, uh, IT specialists, uh, agricultural specialists, who right now, because of the war, uh, have fled elsewhere to Thailand or in the border time uh, Myanmar, if they wish to come and settle in Timor-Leste uh, temporarily until peace is restored in Myanmar, they will be welcome to come. Because we need uh, educated, trained, experienced people. We have many foreigners working here. So why not accepting some... Uh, Uh, individuals from Myanmar uh, to work here in Timor-Leste, where they will find shelter, they will find peace, tranquility, until they are able to return to their country. Yes, uh, thank you for your generous offer. So, yeah, uh, the latest situation in Burma, especially the conscription law uh, and three brotherhood uh, ethnic alliance fighting in northern Xi'an state. Well, uh, I think uh, the successes on the ground uh, by the Brotherhood uh, Alliance of the uh, in parts of uh, Myanmar, it shows uh, the extent of the resistance, the effective resistance, the surrender, the defection of many thousands of Myanmar military personnel, including high senior officers of the army, uh, it shows that this is an unwinnable war for the Tatmado. The war today in Myanmar is not like 30 years ago. Uh, today the war is uh, uh, waged by the military against everyone in Myanmar, not only against ethnic Uh, nationalities, but against the whole, the whole people of Myanmar. And the resistance becoming increasingly more sophisticated. Increasingly, they will get uh, support from uh, their supporters, their people uh, uh, abroad. Uh, so it is uh, unsustainable, unwinnable for uh, Tatmadaw. So it is time for uh, Tatmadaw to acknowledge that this is a war they cannot win, a war that uh, will continue to uh, cause profound damage to Myanmar's economy, to peace and stability in the region. And at the same time, uh, I would uh, uh, hope that the ethnic nationalities, NUG, everyone, opposing Tatmadaw, oppo uh, opposing dictatorship, and in the spirit of unity, in spirit of reconciliation, in spirit of peace, uh, working with uh, within the ASEAN mandate, working with uh, the high envoy of ASEAN uh, to, to end the war and uh, agree on a roadmap that uh, bring a solution based on the inclusivity uh, so that Tatmado becomes an army of the people. Uh, Tatmado is not enemy, uh, but Tatmado has to make the effort to show that it is no longer the enemy. 
Yes, sir. Uh, mistakes we all make. Serious crimes have been committed for many decades, not only now. But for the sake of peace, for the sake of a new Myanmar, Tatmadaw must sit down with NUG, with the ethnic nationalities, look forward, embrace each other, and build a new Myanmar. So for now, from your point of view, what do you think who is winning, the military or the revolution groups? Definitely, definitely uh, the ethnic nationalities, the opposition, the resistance, they're winning. They're winning this battle. Mm -hmm. uh, and winning doesn't mean uh, an outright military defeat of the, of the other side. Doesn't mean necessarily that. It means only that politically, diplomatically, they're winning the war. Yes, sir. So, and it's only a matter of time uh, before the military regime crumbles, uh, collapses, because it's just unsustainable. So to prevent the worst, to prevent an escalation of the conflict, we must uh, encourage all sides, particularly Tatmado, with NUG, with the Brotherhood Alliance, mm -hmm. with everybody to work towards a ceasefire, free all political prisoners, open up the country for urgent humanitarian assistance, but never lose sight of the question of the Rohingya people. Mm -hmm. They are human beings. They are part of Myanmar. Mm -hmm. There has to be courage, compassion to bring them back to their country. Yes, sir. Together with the rest of all nationalities, mm -hmm. build a greater Myanmar for the future. Myanmar can be a great great, prosperous country, multi-ethnic, multi-religion, multicultural, vibrant, highly educated people, compassionate, based on the principles of Buddha, but also be the principles of uh, Hinduism, of uh, Islam, of Christianity. You are very good friend with Doang San Suu Kyi. Uh, he'd been detained since the coup and he is cut off from outside communication, even if she cannot hear the interview, what would you like to say to her? My deepest uh, respect to Suchi for what she has represented uh, as the hope of the people of Myanmar. Apologies to her that we cannot do more for her to free her from this indignity, this suffering. But this is the sacrifice many leaders ha have made through history. This is her contribution to a better uh, Myanmar for the future. She's a symbolism of uh, the symbol of the women of Myanmar, how strong they are, how powerful the women of Myanmar can be, how powerful the men and women of Myanmar can be. Uh, so persevere but always with compassion in your heart, with bravery uh, for a better future. And I appeal also to the leaders of Tatmado, it is time to, uh, silent, to silence the guns. Yeah, so it is time my... to embrace each other. Yeah, that's my next it question. Is... Uh, what is your message to General Mea online? To all the leaders of Tatmado, to the head of Tatmado, think of your country, your great country, your suffering people. It is time for the guns to stop, to go silent. Point the guns down, not forward to anyone. Everyone must come together to uh, reflect on the current tragedy of the errors, of the mistakes of the past, 
think of uh, a new Myanmar, a Myanmar that is peaceful, that is inclusive, without uh, discrimination, exclusion of any ethnic nationality or any religion. So uh, Tatmado has this unique opportunity to step back, to uh, invite Suchi for dialogue, invite the ethnic nationalities uh, before it is too late, before the state disintegrates, mm -hmm. before the army completely collapse. No one should want the army to be completely collapse. Yes, sir. We want to see uh, an army that is strong, that is professional, that defends the territorial integrity of Myanmar, but that you have to build with all the people of Myanmar. So the leaders of Tatmado, I'm not addressing to one in particular, leaders of Tatmado, you have uh, this chance today mm -hmm. to stop this war. Yes, sir. as you know, Burmese people are desperately need her for international community. Uh, but it seems that the war is not given them enough attention. What is your message to the people of Burma uh, who are reaching out for international assistance? Yes, unfortunately, the current uh, situation today in the world, the war in Ukraine, now Gaza, dominate uh, the media attention. But do not uh, discourage, do not despair, because it's not forgotten. Through the social media, millions of people follow the situation in Myanmar. Many governments are taking actions as much as they can, whether ASEAN leaders by sanction Tatmado for not attending, uh, the sanction me not attending ASEAN summits, Mm -hmm. This is unprecedented in the history of ASEAN. We mm -hmm. have to recognize uh, that ASEAN leaders are doing their very best. But also uh, countries like Australia, Japan, South Korea, China, United States, the European Union, they are all focusing on Myanmar, not to the extent they are focusing on Ukraine or Gaza, but Myanmar is not forgotten. It's high on the agenda of every leader I know. The last question, what is your message to international community? <clears throat> My message to the international community is <clears throat> do not reward with indifference, reward with inaction, brutal uh, military dictatorships, as uh, the, uh, the international community, particularly European NATO countries, have taken a stance, very strong stance, on the invasion of Ukraine by Russia, uh, it must also show strength in regard to the situation in Gaza. The people of uh, Palestine are also victims for the last 70 years, this process of their land. And there are many other problems around the world, mm -hmm. in Yemen, in Congo, in Sudan, uh, ongoing conflicts uh, in Syria and in Afghanistan. But do not lose sight of the problem of uh, Myanmar. Uh, the, the, the conflict in Myanmar cannot escalate, if it escalates, because of imprudence on the part of Tatmado because of indifference of the international community, it will be catastrophic for our region, for peace and stability and economic prosperity in the region. Thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for your support to Burmese people, sir. Thank you, a great pleasure. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.